guys, about a month ago I got a package from Captain Jim, and I didn't realize it had all of this candy in it, otherwise I would have opened it a little bit sooner. These are from Canada, eat more. It's kind of like the American tradition, eat more chocolate, and Big Turk. All right, I'm glad I rode my bike 11 miles today. But anyway, also hidden beneath all that candy is this little guy, and it looks a lot like a master lock. So, deserves a little bit closer look. This is a lock, according to Captain Jim, from about the 1940s, little right around there, he says. Um, Squire and Sons, all the way from, it looks like, Willen, Willenhall. Made in England, very cool lock. Um, this is not a master lock. It has a lot of the ID features, same construction, but definitely not a master lock. Um, it is a five pinner, and here's what the key, thank goodness he sent the key. Saves me hours of frustration. It looks to be the original Squire key as well. Um, if he had not sent the key, I would have assumed that this is like all of the other padlocks out there. I would have just tried to pick it in the clockwise direction, and I would have wasted all of my time. I've only seen one other lock. It was a Russian lock that opens when you turn it counterclockwise. This one's a little stiff because of the age, but it does work. It only turns just maybe an eighth of a turn like that. I'm trying to, it's a very stiff spring. See if I can do that. Like that's all it goes. One eighth of a turn, and you get an open. Uh, it is a shimmable, I looked at the uh, the uh, locking paw a little earlier down in there, you can see it, it's kind of rounded and it is spring loaded when you turn the key, you can see it retracting, so I think I'll try to shim it real quick, let me find the right shim, not that guy, he's all bent, he might not work, let's try this guy, alright, because, um, of the angle. I'm gonna go and try it from the side like this and then typical of most locks I, I like to slide it in and that partially pushes the locking pole out of the way then rotate it around and there we go got it open. Very nice. But this is not about shimming. This is about lock picking. This is not an easy lock to pick. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the tolerances or the age or what, but this is not and doesn't want to give it up easily. It will not stand being raked despite what looks like would be an easy rake job. It just doesn't doesn't tolerate it. It also doesn't like finesse, being gentle. I guess a lock made in the 1940s, a lot tougher than we are today. He likes to be bullied. Um, let me go ahead and clamp this up and I'll show you exactly what I mean by being bullied. Alright guys, in lock picking we learn different techniques and different skills and we're not going to do that today. This is a non-skill. It requires no technique, no finesse whatsoever. Nice wide open keyway. We can fit a huge pry bar up in there and I'm going to shove this guy. It's a medium hook. This is from the Praxis Kit, 23 thousandths. And I'm also going to use a pry bar and literally use it as a pry bar. This is a 50 thousandth. I'm going to put them in there and, of course, go counterclockwise. And I'm really going to be putting a lot of tension, actually bending that bar. Let me zoom in and show you there is no technique to this. There is no finesse. I'm going to force those pins. So all the way in the rear, torque that baby over. I mean, like, try to seize up all of those pins and just find the binder. And then when you find him, force him. So that's pin three, feels like. Got a nice... A little click out of him, I'm on two, and I'm not going in any order. I'm just finding, moving up down the stack, finding a binder, and then just literally shoving him in place. I'm on four. Oh, man, come on now. Get up there. Don't break my pick. There we go. Non-technique. It is. It, there's nothing to it. Some locks, and I don't know if it's because of the age or because they're worn, I mean, it works really good on master locks, but everything works good on master locks. Nothing to it. Just I call it the bullying technique. Just sh just put a lot of tension on that core. Just twist it over almost as hard as you can, and then just force those pins. And chances are you're going to hit the shear line, especially in these old locks like this. Okay, anyway, Squire, thank you, Captain Jim. And that's the best way, other than shimming, the fastest way I can find to get into these things. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. Yeah.